Hi, welcome back. I'm Paige. Welcome to today's video. So I know this week I was bad. I slacked. I didn't make an endangered animals and makeup video. I know, so sad. I do have one planned out already for next week, so don't worry. I'll be back on track very shortly. Um, just you know, life. Um, but I would, I did want to do just a quick like summer look so if you're interested in that then go ahead and keep on watching so i'm going to use the nyx bear with me cannabis sativa seed oil primer i like it because it gives like this nice glow to the skin okay so we do that and then i'm gonna go in with my eyebrows to kind of let the primer sit this is the anastasia beverly hills brow gel stuff um i really am enjoying this one it's kind of a little too dark for me for my eyebrows but i like it i kind of like the darker eyebrow even though i've got like blonde highlights and like a lighter brown hair just be careful because it comes out and i'm like struggling hard right now because of how fast it comes out don't understand why this is such a struggle so I'm just gonna take another spoolie and comb it through that's literally all I do I'll probably take this ColourPop brow boss in the shade brunette and just kind of quickly fill in the front of my eyebrows eyebrows are done I have the Tarte I don't even know what this is called i don't know if you can tell but literally like it is pretty much rubbed off it's the tart something it's actually like a foundation stick i believe but i use it for contour so contour the cheeks and just up the side a little and then right under and then, so I'm gonna blend this out first. This is a Perlis Beauty Blender sponge. I'm going to blend it in and then like up. I'm like pushing it into the skin and then up. Cause I don't want it to run and like be muddy. And the other side, blend, push in and up. So it looks like totally like batshit crazy. I understand. You need to trust the process and then i like to just drag blend in and like drag out the chin contour so now i'm going to take this dose of colors concealer and just start concealing places that you can seal <laughs> and i'm going to just take that same and blender like the other side of it and just start blending it out and then down and then here the only thing about this dose of colors concealer is that it kind of dries down quick so you need to work much quicker than i did because i'm kind of struggling right now to get it to blend out but that's okay we're doing it we're making it work we're making it work okay so then just blend it all together i'm gonna just get a little bit more on my news I normally can't get like foundations to stick to my nose, but for whatever reason, concealers kind of stay <laughs> in place. It's just annoying if you ask me. I don't know why nothing likes to stick to my nose ever. So now we're gonna go in with my favorite powder, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless. I don't know why they have to make these things so small. Like, I know I'm young, but I have really old eyes, and I don't like it. It's like the Flawless Powder, Finishing Powder. It's in the shade 2, medium. Um, that's all you need to know. 
just in and you'll need to know that you need to go get it because it's awesome so i'm going to just set the under eyes my nose and then where my bronzer is because i'm going to go over it with bronzer or i should say where my contour is because i'm going to go over it with bronzer and then lightly do my forehead to just get any shininess out now i recently got the physician's formula matte butter bronzer i don't really know what shade this is in matte mono mono i don't know and i'm not gonna pretend to try to figure it out because i have no idea but it looks like this so i'm going to take this real techniques contour brush my go-to brush i just washed it too so nice and ready to go and then i just contour it and i'll kind of do like bigger strokes than i normally would i don't i still don't go past like my ear here but i'll bring it up a little bit higher just to give me more of a bronzy look and give myself somewhat of a jaw jaw jawline because she is non-existent we're getting there we're getting there slowly <laughs> so i got this nice bronzy look going i like it so now i'm gonna do blush i'm going to take this real techniques buffing brush with the hourglass ambient strobe lighting blush in incandescent electra mm. it is perfection love it love it so I'm gonna just start by tapping it in and going right over the bridge of my nose to give me this really nice sun kiss like oh I just went out and got some sun look like I didn't try for this this just happened so I just pat it in of course my Jaclyn Hill highlighter this is in iced ice, ice, pip. pick up some of that and bring it up and in to my this end to give me more of a sun kissed glow above the brow under the brow I kind of just slop it on there and hope for the best honestly so now i'm going to take this la girl pro setting hd high definition setting spray long lasting matte finish can they come up with shorter just say like it's la girl matte setting spray why i really like this i really like the primer too um if i'm doing like a full look i'll use the primer i actually have it right here la girl pro prep hd high definition definition smoothing face primer that's a really good primer i really enjoy that one a lot if i'm doing like a full face but that's not what we're here for today we're here for a glowy sun-kissed look effortless um okay i don't even know where i was now now we're gonna do eyeshadow you're like why are you gonna do eyeshadow in the summer because i want to talk about these two palettes that i got from natasha denona mm. chef's kiss um so really like both of them i just got this one they both came in a boxy charm box but i just got this one so i'm gonna use this one again um just like a few shades in it so we're i don't even know like shine so this one is shine this one is amara this one is thorn jasper and aya i think um so we're going to be using shine a little bit of aya and a little bit of amara i'm going to go in i also got new brushes that i wanted to try i didn't really like set them aside that well so we'll see how that goes. 
So here's a new one. And I think, nope. This is a new one. Um, this is from Glamour, Glamour from BoxyCharm. This is a blending brush. So I'm gonna go in with this lightest shade and kind of just use it to set the whole lid and a little bit of the crease. I also didn't use like an eyelid primer. I probably would, but for purposes of this video, I didn't. Um, I might not during the summer though, just to like kind of give like the natural eyelid oils a chance to shine through and give me more of like this glowy look because I can get oily. <laughs> um, so now we're gonna go in with Amara strictly in the crease in the outer corner oh my god they just like blend so nicely like i'm so happy i got these so now i'm gonna take this one from the same glamour glamari it's a packing brush i also liked that brush that was a really nice soft brush so this is like a packing shadow brush. So let's see how this one applies this shadow. It looks nice, but I'm gonna see how my finger does. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Oh, it works much better with a finger. Like they're packed on so much more. And then I'm gonna focus on like the center of the lid a little bit more and then I'll take this and kind of just seamlessly blend it into the rest of the eyeshadow so there's that look a super easy eye look for the summer okay I'm like losing my train of thought here um so next is going to be mascara so this is the air volume mega mascara from l'oreal I like this. My kids got this for me for my birthday. Of course my kids would get me makeup. I may have. Alrighty. So now is the lips. I am on this like orange lipstick kick. I don't know why, but I really like it. So I went and got the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade 320 individualist i have another shade from like the same line and i love it it like stays dries down fast but not like too drying on lips which is really nice share i start kind of in the center of the bottom and then work my way out that way I'm not like getting like a huge clump like out here and trying to like blend it in. I think it just works easier if you start on the end and then blend it out. How beautiful. It's a shade. It makes me feel like a boss ass bitch. Bad ass bitch, if you will. I don't know whatever the kids say these days but i love it i do of course just one last spritz of setting spray to lock it all in and that's it so you get this nice looking glow oh look at that glow from the primer and then on top of like the highlight, like the primer still shines through a little bit because you're not using like super full coverage foundation. It's literally just concealer and contour. And then you blend it all out. And then you get a nice look like this. Super easy. That what took me like, I don't know, 15 minutes. So super easy, right? I think so. Well, that's it for today's video. As always, I will have everything Link down in the description box below. So you can check that out to see what I use if you need a reminder. Um, thank you guys for watching so much. As always, stay safe. Bye.